Hey guys! Earlier in the month we talked about five classic children's books that I recommend that I think you guys should read and now we're doing five modern children's books. To start with, a book that I've talked about on my channel plenty of times but it's been a little while and I want to refresh your memory on how great this is and how great the entire series is and that you really should get around to reading it. This is Theodosa and the Serpents of Chaos by R.L. Lefebvre's and it is the first book in the Theodosa series. These books are fantastic. This first one is amazing but all of the ones after it are just as good. This is set in Edwardian London and Theodosa's parents own a museum that specializes in Egyptian artifacts. This is a magical adventure story. Theodosia is a wonderful, wonderful character and it's just, it's so fantastically good. Love it. Next up is The Rise and Fall of Mount Majestic by Jennifer Trafton and I originally picked up this book because the beautiful artwork is by Brett Helquist and he is one of my favorite children's illustrators and I am extremely glad that he did the illustrations for this book because I might not have known about it otherwise, I might not have picked it up, and it is a super fun book. The protagonist of this book is named Persimony Smudge. That's all I need to tell you to sell you on this book, surely, because that is a wonderful name. And this is another sort of adventure story for children. It's funny, it's sweet, it has a lot of heart. I just really enjoyed reading this book. It is fantastic. Next up, one that is a little bit older, but I'm still going to call it a modern book. I think it was originally published in 1988. I do honestly recommend anything by this author, but if you need a place to start, this is such a good place. I honestly recommend anything by this author, but if you need a place to start, this is a good one to try. Matilda. If you are a reader, this is a book for you. This is one of those magical children's books that just make you feel included in something. Any little bookish child in your life that just loves sitting for hours alone reading, this is a wonderful book to give them. That's not to say that someone who necessarily isn't overly into reading couldn't read and enjoy this book and then maybe get them more interested, but it definitely has that book for book lovers thing going for it. Matilda is a wonderful character. Her story is tragic and heartwarming and funny. Roald Dahl is an amazing storyteller and this is one of the favourites of his for a reason. Next up we have an incredibly long title. This is Horton Halfpot or The Fiendish Mystery of Smugwick Manor or The Loosening of Milady Lugatuck's Corset. This was hysterical. I completely fell in love with it when I was reading it. Horton Halfpot is a completely charming character. I love him. This has a bit of an upstairs, downstairs, Downton Abbey thing going on. Horton Halfpot works downstairs. The people he works for aren't necessarily particularly nice. There's a little bit of a love story in here which is very, very cute, very sweet. Uh, there's a bit of a mystery going on. There's just it's fantastic and I highly recommend it if you're looking for something just light and whimsical. If you're feeling stressed out and you just needed a break from things, this would be a fantastic option. And lastly, we have one of my absolute favourite books of all time, not even just children's books, but just books in general. It is completely wonderful and it just speaks to me on so many levels. It has wonderful themes and ideas. The characters are incredible, the writing is amazing, it is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman in general is wonderful, but The Graveyard Book is just something so so special to me. I cannot get enough of this book. It is about a young boy called Nobody Owens, or Bod for short, and when he's a very small baby his family is actually murdered and he manages to escape and he ends up in a cemetery near where he used to live. He ends up growing up in this cemetery and being looked after by these ghosts that live there. It sounds like a pretty weird premise, and it is, but it works so beautifully. Neil Gaiman has such an incredibly vivid imagination. His writing is incredible. There is literally nothing about this book that I don't love. It is just a joy to me. I 
absolutely adore it from start to finish. Bod is such an incredibly sweet character despite his slightly odd upbringing and it's just, it's so good. It's so good. You have to read this if you haven't, especially if you're a Neil Gaiman fan and haven't got around to this yet. Get on it because you will love it. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Those were my five recommendations for contemporary children's books. Not all of them are set in contemporary periods, but uh, all of them were written far more recently than the other children's books that I recommended earlier in the month. If you've read any of these, be sure to let me know what you thought of them. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.